What is up, YouTube? It's your friend Miriam, aka Lucky Number Seventy Eight, and I'm here with a very special unboxing video. Um, as a lot of you know, I was basically forced from my home by a flood earlier this year, and uh, since then, um, I've gotten very into the world of unboxing videos and um, taken my love of collecting uh, to you, the people, <laughs> and. Um, as even more of you know, I'm a huge Oz fan. Um, so what I have today is something I never intended to unbox. I intended to keep them in pristine mint condition uh, in their boxes, but unfortunately, due to the flood, I have recently found out that the boxes were severely damaged. So, the toys are intact. The, they're toys, the spoiler alert. And I'm going to do an unboxing and review for you, because, you know, there's nothing so bad that a silver lining isn't behind it. Um, and the toys are three different Oz the Great and Powerful dolls, uh, as you can see, of significant size. Uh, Glinda. Theodora. And ironically, the largest, the China Girl. Um, these were purchased by me and my parents. Well, the China Girl was a gift from my parents. The witches I bought um, with saved allowance because this was in 2013. <laughs> And uh, since then they've been on display, and now they were in boxes, and now I'm going to unbox them for you and tell you a little bit about what I see. So we're going to start with the Glinda. Um, the top here is coming off. Just so you see, I'm not coming up with this out of nowhere. You can, you can actually see that the plastic is very scuffed from being in boxes. Um, so... I am a huge fan of the Oz series, the books. Um, contrary to what most people think, I actually don't like the 1939 movie very much. Um, so I might be one of the few Oz fans out there, or maybe people in the world, who actually uh, preferred Oz the Great and Powerful from 2013 to the 1939 movie with Judy Garland. I think it was a better movie and a more modern, feministic approach. Uh, which, by the way, I should clarify, is intrinsic to the original source material. Uh, L. Frank Baum, who wrote the books, was actually a feminist and was married to um, a suffragette's daughter. Um, and a suffragette herself, and he was also a great proponent of women's right to vote. Um, yeah. He's my hero. He's my hero, so. Um, so. Glinda, Glinda the Good, uh, kind of embodies that, as does Ozma, uh, the Queen of Oz. Well, the Glinda portrayed in Oz the Great and Powerful is a combination of Bombs, Glinda, and Ozma. So, naturally, I had to like her. Now, this was packaged like a collector's figure. They don't want you opening it by accident. And it's, it's very sad, in my opinion, that I did have to open it at all. But... As I've said in the past, I believe toys are meant to be played with, and honestly, I'm not sure how long they would have stayed in their packages anyway. It's not like they're going to accrue tremendous value. So, first things first. Sometime. Um, 
it came with a little charm that says G for Glinda. So that's nice. These are made by Jack Specific, which many people know for their Star Trek toys, their Power Ranger toys. This is an obvious competitor to the, to the Mattel Barbie line. First thing I notice, this figure is, ex the dress is extremely sticky. I don't know if that's a byproduct of the flood or what. I'm coming off with a lot of glitter. You can see that. And she's so sticky. Um, I don't know why that is. I don't like that. See, there's a ton of packaging here. Ow. I actually snapped myself with a bit of elastic there. Um, her hair is spray painted into place. Her crown is actually very nicely done. Um, Looks like they did an interesting spray paint effect with gold over a silver plastic. Um, interestingly, um, they seem to have faithfully reproduced her distinct makeup look from the movie. Um, it's a little hard to see with no focus. Thank you, autofocus. But um, she has a very distinctive palette that was published uh, as a makeup kit by Urban Decay, which I have. Um, let's see. Now for the scandalous part. Let's, let's see what the figure looks like. Um, she's wearing a lacy leotard. There's actually detailing on the underwear. Um, that she has a belly button. She has curvature to her belly, which I, I really appreciate. I know that's you know, um, ever since I was a little, little kid, I've always appreciated dolls who look like people. Um, she has knee-high boots with a nice lace-up, very period-appropriate. As you can see, there's a lot more detail and muscle. She has toes, a lot more detail than your average Barbie-style toy. Um, she has fantastic articulation. Um, ball jointed at the head, elbows, and a classic shoulder joint there that won't go too far up. Um, her fingers are detailed. She does not have uh, nail polish or articulated fingers or an articulated wrist. Um, she comes with, and I threw it on the ground with the rest of the packaging, and I'm glad I noticed this before I threw the packaging away. She does come with a beautiful wand, clearly based on Ozma's wand um, from the Oz books. But she can't hold it, because her hands don't move. Oh, I guess she can hold it. It just looks a little silly. But yeah, she's a doll of pretty good size. And, um... I'm pretty fond of her. They did a pretty good job with this figure. On to the next one. True test of time. Does she stand? I have glitter on my nose. She won't really stand on her own. No. 
That's a little unfortunate. They should have packaged her with a stand if she really couldn't stand on her own. Next up, Theodora. This is her costume from the beginning of the movie when she's traveling with the wizard. Um, she was played by the beautiful and talented Mila Kunis. Um, she comes with a tea charm. And I guess they assumed the hat was her accessory. No other accessories. She has a massive hat. Wait till you see this hat. Massive in scale to her and this type of toy, not like actually large enough for a human. using my teeth because I'm professional like that. That is very pretty. She does wear a ring, which I believe in the movie is her symbol of power. She has a red she has a silver ring with a red stone. And this fantastic hat made out of a more bendy rubber kind of plastic. Just wonderful. Now that that is a gem. That is it's beautifully molded. There's detail all over it. That's worth the price of admission, folks. Very fond of that. Right now I'm trying to free her from her shackles. Should have brought my knife back up here. Clothing is very nicely made out of some sort of fake wool cloth. Um, it really does look like a, a tailored outfit. Um, it does not look like doll clothes. Um, usually do. Her pants are more of a sateen kind of sheer ish and uh let's see gives washing instructions even for her coat which is very nice it's like a, a woolish material on the outside and a polyester material on the inside and um she has like a, a fake silk and lace top and a, a belt with a chrome plastic detail and her boots really steal the show um, don't know if I can get them off there they go uh, her, her pants are actually tights I was not aware of this um, they do
do Velcro in the back, and she is wearing red lacy underwear. For those concerned. Um, also, as I said, her boots have a lot of detail. Beautiful pattern. They button up the side. Let me Velcro her tights back on. I love her. Um, in some ways, she's a better made figure than Glinda. Um, absolutely fantastic job. Her hat doesn't really want to stay on, but it does look pretty movie accurate. I'm in love with him. No, I'm in love with him. That moment when Oz the Great and Powerful is a harem anime. Now, speaking of harem anime, here's the last figure. It's the girl who loves him the most, the China girl. This is the one I went out and got at Toys R Us, paid what we call the Toys R Us tax. Not to badmouth them, but they, they do charge more than other companies. No, uh, no judgment. They do have better selection, better service, better knowledge. You know, you're getting what you pay for if you're shopping at Walmart or Target instead. Not to badmouth Walmart or Target either. I got this at Toys R Us. I got the other two at Kohl's, which is a clothing department store. Um, Kohl's is a secret gem, by the way, for getting... Um, very cheap toys, often Disney toys, um, several months after the release of the movie. But this I got as soon as I saw the movie. I loved China Girl. She was my favorite character, and uh, I got her as soon as I could. Um, and of course I never intended to take her out of the box. I don't spend $25 on a figure often. But I, I remember the amount I spent on her because she was worth it. Um, she was absolutely worth it. And, uh, this won't be the last time I play with her. charm is a CG. Very nice. And other than that, she does not come with any uh, accessories. More, there's twist ties on her to keep her in place. She's clearly a more deluxe figure than they are. She's bigger. Uh, she's more detailed. She's really made to look like a China doll when China was still the preferred building material for little girls' first dolls. That's what the Madame Alexander line, for instance, is trying to emulate. This is before plastic. But this toy, of course, is made of plastic. I'm sure there is a China version somewhere out there for the super collectors who would not dare take toys out of the package. I am a black sheep, so to speak. 
let's see. Her packaging is a little more confusing as well. She has more tie line on the back here. Actually drew blood. That was caused by whipping an elastic band at myself. Further proof that I should have either used the knife or my teeth. Oh yeah. I know, that's attractive. Sorry ladies. Uh, taken, but um, She's wearing lacy blue panties because apparently this is a thing. They all have different colors of lacy panties. I don't know how I feel about that. I don't know if that was a necessary detail, but that is what Disney presumably either decided on or signed off on. The company, of course, not the person. There's only one real Disney, and he's dead. Sadly. Another hero. Don't you love that sound of plastic yelling at you? Alright. Here she is. She is gorgeous. She's even prettier out of the package than in. Her head is hollow. I don't like that, but it is jointed very nicely. Her her elbow is nicely jointed. Her wrist is articulated. Her shoulder is articulated. Her waist is not. Her hip is, and her knee is, and her ankle is. She's wearing cute little shoes. She has cracks running all over her body. Um, there is a thing in the movie where it's said that her village was destroyed and she's got cracks all over. Actually, when you take off her costume, her whole body has cracks on it. That's very sad and poignant and uh, a beautiful little detail. She's very cute. She's obviously based on John R. Neal's depiction of Dorothy, which of course is <clears throat> the only true depiction of Dorothy. I'm mostly kidding. She's got a cute little bow in the back, and a little square collar, which Dorothy wears in The Road to Oz and Emerald City of Oz. Um, and she's got a, a nice ball joints. She doesn't feel terribly sturdy. She's got a nice, like, teacup detailing here. Uh, fingernails detailed, but not painted. Absolutely gorgeous. This is, um... This might be my favorite toy. This might be the best toy that I own right now. Um, unless a smart TV counts. Or my Alienware computer. Brag, brag, brag. Um, yeah, I am extremely happy with this toy. I'm actually glad I took it out of the package. Life makes lemons. Life makes a lot of things. Life gives you lemons make lemonade. So, we're signing off. Why don't you wave goodbye, China girl? Yeah, do it more awkwardly, please. Maybe she can do a royal wave. And here's the whole gang. What a wonderful toy line. They must have expected the movie to be a bigger hit than it was. But it was a movie that I very much enjoyed. And, uh, yeah, I hope you enjoyed this unboxing video. If you made it this far, thank you very much. Um, please comment below thoughts, feelings, comments, questions, concerns, topics of the day, ideas for future videos, uh, recommendations, suggestions, ideas, confessions. 
whatever you feel, and I'll be happy to read it. And please like and subscribe if you haven't already. And uh, yeah, so this is me. This is my this is my posse. Ain't nobody messing with my click. So yeah. Until next time. Stay beautiful. Peace.